You know, a lot of times in a post-spawn situation, um, I'm, I'm field testing uh, baits to get ready for ICAST launches or late spring, early summer launches for bait companies or even all the way into the next spring. And so I may go to different bodies of water with rod and reel combinations that don't make any sense because I'm trying to force feed some bites. I'm trying to see how that action is going to work and, and what's going to happen by using it. Uh, in some of that situation was going on in Choke Canyon, I was actually using a spinning rod to throw the stupid craw and or stupid tube type combination, which is the jig head that you rig the bait in through the middle of it and you rotate it out and then it rigs up perfectly. But I was really trying to use it in a spinning rod to get a lot of bites because that's the way a lot of people fish that type of rig and bait combination across the nation. Now, me personally, I throw it a lot of times on bait casters. I see guys flip it and everything, but I wanted to see how the stupid craw would perform on a spinning rod uh, type combination, uh, dragging it on the bottom on rocky points, uh, firing it up on that jig head, up around brush, up around rocks, and, because I knew I was gonna get a lot of bites on that day uh, when, I, when I found those fish. And what you find by doing that is you open up your eyes to other presentations, other bait styles, and other ways to you know find the right rod and reel combination because Every rod and every reel is not built for every fishing situation and you as an angler have to understand that. So if you're missing a lot of fish in certain situations or if you're losing a lot of fish, you've got, a, you've got a, a problem. It's not necessarily that the fish aren't biting right. It could be that you're not matching the right rod, the right line, the right reel, you know, that's able to pick up line very fast or the hook or the bait in the, in the right rigging situation and, and so you've got to die you've got to dissect that and find that right combination so you don't lose those fish you know i'm using a leader here this 14 pound sunline sniper with a 20 pound braided line on the spinning rod and to fish this bait and you know you can fish with a bait caster or you can fish with a spinning rod wherever you want to i just i've got both of them tied on and wanted to spend some time kind of field testing it with a spinning rod just kind of fishing it and throwing it like a person would almost a shaky head you know and power fishing a shaky head for lack of a better word i'm just sitting here fan casting over and over to catch these fish and that sure has made it nice i keep thinking i need to move but about every minute or two, I get a bite. So, you know, I don't ever want to leave them biting.